There's another story coming right up. And you can always learn more about Theodore Tugboat on the internet. Find us through PBS Online. Pushing and a pulling in the great big harbor in the great big world is so much fun. So many brand new things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily. Boda, Hank and George and the harbor master too. Oh, hello. This is my bean plant. But it's not a bean plant yet. But it will be, and it's going to go right out of that pot. Here, look. You see in here? Take these little beans, and you plant one right in here. And in no time at all, you've got a great big bean plant. It, it takes a little time. Mm, nothing yet. How long is it going to take? You know, Theodore was asking himself that very question just the other day. Oh, not about my bean plant. He was wondering how long it was going to take for him to be bigger. Let me start at the beginning. It was a foggy morning in the big harbor. Theodore was just floating along, pretending he was flying through clouds. Suddenly, he heard Fodok's whistle. And a moment later, the safety tech appeared. Theodore, puffed Fodok all out of breath. Emily has found a lost ship out on the ocean. She's bringing him into the harbor and needs your help immediately. On my way, whistled Theodore. When Theodore arrived at the harbor entrance, he could already see Emily's light piercing the fog. Theodore felt like he was bursting with questions for Emily. How did you know where to find the lost ship, Emily? He asked. Oh, replied Emily, I guess I just, just did. How do you find your way out on the ocean, Emily? Continued Theodore. Well, said Emily, thinking. I, I just do. Oh, said Theodore. And then with a blast of her powerful whistle, Emily headed home. Leaving Theodore to bring the ship into her dock. While Theodore was very impressed with Emily. She always knows what to do, he said to himself. It must be nice to be bigger. Theodore looked at Emily one more time. When will I ever be bigger, he said softly. The dispatcher was waiting for Theodore when he returned to the Great Ocean Dock. Ah, Theodore, you have been doing very good work here in the harbor lately. Well, thank you, smiled Theodore. But today, the dispatcher continued, I have a different kind of job for you. A different job, repeated Theodore, puzzled. Yes, Theodore, there's a fishing trawler who needs a new propeller. I would like you to take it to him. Sure, said Theodore. Where is he? Near the cargo shed or, or the fuel dock? Actually, replied the dispatcher, he isn't in the harbor. He lives in Cayley's Cove. It's not too far from here. Theodore was very surprised. It was always the bigger tugs like Emily who got to go outside the harbor. But he said slowly. I've never been to Cayley's Cove before. Maybe someone should come with me, like Emily. Oh, yes, I'll go, said Emily. Oh, I think you'll find it by yourself, said the dispatcher. 
it suddenly seemed like a whole new world had opened up right in front of Theodore's eyes. On my way, he tooted. Well, in no time, Theodore had picked up the propeller and was off towards the ocean. Now, he had left the harbor before, but this time, well, this time felt different. It was a strange new feeling, and Theodore wasn't exactly sure just what that new feeling was. With a slight sea breeze at his back, Theodore was soon outside the warm waters of the big harbor. He could feel the powerful ocean waves beginning to pound against his hull. A whoosh, a whoosh, a whoosh. And his own powerful engine pushing him on, sure and steady. Soon, it was time to turn towards the shore. To Theodore, the craggy rocks and the wind-whipped pine trees looked old and new at the same time. He rounded a rocky part of the shore, and there, nestled in against the coast, all dappled with sunlight, was a colorful little fishing village. That must be Cayley's Cove, Theodore said to himself. I did find it by myself, just like the dispatcher said. And again, there was that new feeling. But what was it? A fishing trawler was resting at his dock. Hello, Theodore called. I'm Theodore Tugboat. Are, are you Kaylee? Oh, no, laughed the trawler. My name is Truro. But where's Kaylee? asked Theodore, looking around. Oh, there, there's no Kaylee here, answered Truro. That's just what they call it. But I'm Dorothy, a small voice piped up. Theodore looked down, surprised to see a little fishing dory. Did you come all the way from the big harbor? asked Dorothy. Well, uh, yes, I did, replied Theodore. I came with this propeller. That'll be for me, said Troro, and I'm much obliged. We've never had a big harbor tugboat out here before. I like your hat, chirped Dorothy. Oh, well, thank you, smiled Theodore. What's it like in the big harbor, asked Dorothy. How many tugboats does it have? Is there really a giant oil rig? It seemed the little dory was bursting with questions for Theodore. Well, there's Emily, replied Theodore. She's the biggest, and she knows the most. And George, well, he likes to vroom his engine and blow up smoke. And Fodak, the safety tug. He's always looking out for dangerous things. And then there's Hank. Hank, replied Dorothy. Hank's kind of silly, and he pumps into stuff sometimes. Oops, said Dorothy. And, and, oh, and the oil rig always talks really loud, hollered Theodore. Yes, sirree, Bob. Yes, sirree, Bob, hollered Dorothy right back. Theodore was startled by just how loud the little dory could be. It must be great to live in the big harbor, said Dorothy. I've never been anywhere before. I've never been past that big rock. Theodore thought about it for a moment, then he made a decision. Dorothy, would you like me to take you for a ride out on the ocean? Can I, Choro? Can I? asked Dorothy. Sure, said Choro. Theodore is big enough to take care of you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, shouted Dorothy. She was so excited, she began wiggling back and forth in front of Theodore. Let's go, Dorothy, said Theodore. As soon as Theodore had given Truro his new propeller, he set off with Dorothy the Dory on a little adventure.
ocean's really big, isn't it? The water is much wetter, right? Where do the waves come from, Theodore? Dorothy was talking so fast, Theodore couldn't even answer. Are we lost, Theodore? Theodore looked around. Dorothy had been asking so many questions, he'd lost sight of land. Theodore thought a moment. Oh, oh, it's just over there, he said, and set off again with Dorothy. There it is. You found it, Theodore. You found it. Hooray! Sure enough, there was Kaylee's Cove again, not too far away. Here we are, said Theodore. She was bursting with questions for Theodore. How did you know where to find Gailey's Cove? She asked. Oh, replied Theodore. I guess I just did. How do you find your way? Way out on the ocean, Theodore, continued Dorothy. Well, said Theodore, thinking, I just do. Then, with a powerful blast of his whistle, Theodore pulled Dorothy toward Katie's cove. Dorothy was very impressed with Theodore. You know everything, she said. It must be nice to be bigger. Well, Theodore didn't exactly know what to say, but then he smiled and swayed from side to side the way he always did when he was especially happy. before Theodore and Dorothy reached Kaylee's Cove again. Theodore could see it was getting late. It's time for me to go home now, he announced. Thanks again for bringing me my propeller, called Troro. Can you come and visit us again soon, asked Dorothy, and show me more things? Sure, I will, said Theodore right away. And with a farewell toot toot, he set off for home. The sun was just going down in a beautiful golden glow over the edge of the ocean. Theodore's engine was tired, but he felt happy. It had been a wonderful day, full of wonderful things to see and do. And suddenly, he had that new feeling again. The feeling he'd been having all day. And this time, he knew what that feeling was. It was a feeling of being bigger. I wonder how my little bean plant's been doing while I was telling you that story. Well, look at that. Oh, a little bean sprout. See, it's growing. It just takes a little time. Thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. And we'll see you all again next time. Hello, little bean sprout. Can I get you anything? Huh? Give me a little drink of water. Just a little water. There you go. Take your time. Take your time. Theodore.